Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you that are new, I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button. If you're into Corvette content or GM LSX truck content, this is the place to be. With that being said, today what we're going to be going over is five things that I hate about the Tahoe. For those of you that guys that don't know, it's a 2002 Chevy Tahoe. So this is going to apply to most of your 99 to 06 Silverado Sierra uh, Denali's or your 2006 Tahoe Escalade Yukon. There's going to be some differences between them. Obviously, we like trim levels and stuff. Uh, but this is just kind of your run of the mill soccer mom Tahoe. So it is what it is, but we're going to get started on it. So first of all, the first thing that bugs me about this is the the plastic feeling of the interior pieces so it just kind of goes through on the dash you can see it just kind of it's just a hard plastic it's this really feels kind of cheap to be honest but for that it, it does hold up the plastics do hold up fairly well in these so there really isn't any going to be any kind of complaints with that it's more or less just like the feel of it. It feels dated. So, which can be expected. I mean, these vehicles are, these trucks and SUVs are 20 years old. So with that, I mean, it, it's kind of expected, but I do hate it, you know. So that brings us to the second thing that drives me up the wall. And I am experience this, experiencing this really bad right now. And that is the seats. The seats in these things are absolute garbage. They are comfortable, but they have no durability. As you can see, they're just worn down from getting in and out, beat up, tore up. They're tearing, the leather's cracking, and you cannot find good replacements for these anywhere. You go to a junkyard and all the trucks and the Tahoes, they all have the same issues. Everyone I've come across has the same issue. And that is this cracking and just brittle, worn down seats. The third thing, and this is going to sound really dumb, but the third thing I don't like is the fact that they are torsion bar front suspension. All the four wheel drives and most of, or some of that, like the 1500 HDs, they're all torsion bar front suspension. They ride nowhere near as good as a coil spring truck. Um, they do make coilover kits to fix that, but it just, they haven't become cost effective or real, real mainline. So there's only a few manufacturers and it just, I don't even know if that's the right option. I wish they were a little bit more comfort based, um, versus being more of a truck, you know, with the 1500s were more comfort based than more geared towards being truck designed in the suvs at least i can understand it in the pickups with the suvs i wish they were more comfort based all right fourth thing is going to be not even so much the fault of the truck is part availability aftermarket on these parts these are the honda civics of trucks and suvs they make anything and everything go on these trucks they've been popular for modifications from day one so i mean you can get hoods roll pans suspension both to go up and down with them i mean and it's a 5.3 or a 4.8 uh mine particular is a 5.3 so any ls based anything works on them what i'm talking about with availability is the lack of quality oem replacement parts so something breaks on it you're kind of stuck going to like a AutoZone or a riley's you know that kind of stuff deal to get replacement parts but as far as finding like good quality oem parts they are super hard to find and when you do find them they do bring a pretty good penny uh 99 of the time these trucks are worth more apart than they are together so keep that in mind um if you find one and like the dash is cracked and stuff good luck finding one that the dash isn't cracked thankfully you know mine is not but it is starting to peel and stuff like that you know these like i said these are 20 year old trucks don't expect them to be perfect but that's one thing i've really kind of got aggravated is trying to find you know in a salvage yard or 
you know, online at some of these insurance part outs and stuff is just quality replacement parts on the pieces that I do have that are either broke or kind of showing their age. That is a big one for me is everything from, you know, from GM has been discontinued and it's really hard to find. Last thing, and this is something that, again, is just kind of my personal experience with, the auto ride on these trucks suck. If you can avoid getting the one of the if you get one of the SUVs if you can avoid getting the auto ride suspension stay away from it it is garbage I am in the process of getting all the parts together to get rid of mine um, you know it's fairly simple to delete you just have to redo everything but the auto ride is garbage it goes out it messes with stuff it's just junk absolutely one of GM's botched attempts at i mean i see what they were doing but just they botched it they completely 100 percent did not make a successful design it just sucks that is what it is i'm not saying these are junk trucks i absolutely love this thing they make awesome dailies they make awesome trucks they're super reliable overall but that's just five things that i absolutely cannot stand about these trucks these vehicles but on the flip side of that, stay tuned next week for the five things that I love about these trucks.